Hey there, everybody. Ryan here from Android Calls. I'm here to do a review on the TomTom Tom Spark 3 Sports Watch. Um, so this is the guy here. It is like it looks like an e-ink display. Uh, it's not color or anything. Um, and now the neat thing about this is that it has the GPS and the heart rate monitor built in the back, and it comes with uh, Bluetooth headphones that'll pair to the watch, which then you can store up with phone music on here. Uh, and then go running. So basically, if you want to just go running by yourself with just the watch, leave your phone at home, um, this is the guy to do it um, because you can just pair it to the, the headphones, go jogging, it'll track all your movement with the GPS, all that information, and then it'll use the, the um, TomTom app on here to sync that through. Now that's in the ideal world. It's great. Personally, I've had a lot of frustration with this. So first off, I mean, you get this guy and you think that, what is this chin thingy there? Well, this is the buttons. And you would think, well, maybe it's a scroller or something. No, it's actually the top part. That is the button, right? You hit the sides and it vibrates every time you do it. So, you know, how many steps have you done? You can go scroll down to get the settings. Um... It's, it's just kind of a little bit awkward to use and it's the, the it takes a while getting used to what's going in here uh, but it it doesn't ever really feel right so to use it I'd have to go to let's say freestyle for example so I'll use right and it's gonna want to check my blood pressure it's gonna check the GPS and it's eventually gonna say get you can go and you hit the right side button and then Right, so I can get going, and I can pretend to walk around, do some fun things. I don't know if it's going to check the GPS, but once I'm done with it, I have to. I you know do I shut up? Oh no, push ups gives me a lot of different things. Okay, well, how do I end this? I just keep going through there. But what do I, do I go this way? Oh, that's my you know. I guess I got to go back. Oh no, can I go back? I have to hold back. And then you get a chance to say, okay, well, stop is this way, so hold stop. And you would think it would show me, okay, well, that was your run, that was your race, whatever. Here's time. It doesn't give me that. I'd have, and there's no way for me to go and try to figure out where was that? Was my tracker? No, it's like not a goal. It wasn't a heart rate, it wasn't a sleep. Um, like you can't find how was that run? How, what was my time? How did I do? You'd have to know the moment you hit the stop button, what whatever it was. So then it'd have to go back to the app. And the app is pretty, I mean, good stuff, but it's just poorly implemented. It says, uh, oh, I'm not connected. Watch my watch status. And it's kind of funny. Actually, normally there's nothing but a, a constant little uh, icon up there. And it's not saying connected. It's not saying connected. They even say, hey, you may want to turn Bluetooth on and off again. That's just great. You know, let's go to watch status. That's where we are. Activities. You know, you'd hope that it would start syncing the activity I just did. You know, progress. You know. So none of this. We gotta go watch status. Still not connected. Still not connected. Well, maybe I'll just do like they said and turn Bluetooth off, and then back on. Come on, Bluetooth on is gonna go on again. Again, this is just to get it to do one thing. Still not connecting. Like it took it like five minutes after I'd finished my run today for it to actually go, you know, and that's actually me being in the house about, you know, five, ten minutes already, going to get my phone, put my phone next to it and saying, okay, well, now we work. It's, it just takes forever. It doesn't work intuitively. Um, the other thing is like to connect the Bluetooth headphones, I would try to do this. And it, it goes into searching mode to search the Bluetooth. I have to make sure these guys are turned on. Now, 
I won't do it now because it actually worked fine after a while. But if I turned it on to put it into pairing mode, this would say, well, I found too many headphones. And yes, I got phones and phones and phones around the house. But it would kept saying, I, I don't know what to connect to. I had to walk outside, leaving all my phones inside and all my devices inside and go outside waiting for it to be far enough away from anything else. Turn this into pairing mode, turn this down to search for it to actually start working. And then on, it starts playing music. Now, and that's the other pain in the butt is that to play music, it only plays music, it adds music to this and it adds it only if you, and again, to get this out, you got to pop this out here and try not to, not to do anything there. So pop it out. Kind of like the Fitbit, if you were using one of the Fitbits. And we, oh, now it's finally connected. And that little icon that's up there, the icon never goes away once it's there. Like, I don't know what happened for it to come back or why it actually left, but it's, I can leave this at home and drive, you know, 20 minutes to work and it'll still say, saying it's connected. I don't know why. Uh, the connector is this weird little connector here. And that is the most awkward thing to connect in, it looks, feels like. Um, and then to try to use it, you're bending this back. It's it's just awkward. Now it's kind of got a blue tinge to it. I don't know why. But anyway, so now it's uh, a weird angle to connect to. I'm sure they could have figured something else a little better, personally. And you plug it into the thing, you get the software on the computer, and you can put music on here. It's up to three gigs is what you can store on here. Now, here's the pain in the butt part. It only uses um, playlist files. And I don't know what playlist files, because I was playing around with Windows Media Player and figuring it out, and I couldn't get any of the music I had on here. I found a couple playlist files from YouTube, uh, an album I had bought, and for some reason that showed up on that it could add. Because all it does, it just scans your computer for you. But no matter what playlist I tried to make, it wouldn't work. Uh, to get it off, I'm going to give it a little bit of a finagle there. And there it is. You can put it back in the watch thing. And there you go. And then there you go. You're, you're good to go. The headphones are really good. I gotta admit, I was surprised the headphones. It's a pain that the you play volumes and then you have the long press in order for it to get to be the skip track. Uh, but they actually were really good, very comfortable. I I might want to just see just using these without this guy. I couldn't see about trying to get these to work with anything else but these. Um, and then there, okay, let's go look at the app again here. So let's just bring up my sports. Now it's saying it's not connected again. Again, it's just weird. Okay, so activities. So I can click on an activity. And it's a very good, uh, accurate readout of, you know, where I was. Well, that's just freestyle moving. Let's do that run today. I did today. It's just a short run. A very good, accurate readout of the GPS. I was surprised how quickly, you know, when you go outside and you put it on and it'll say wait to get GPS. And it actually didn't take too long to get GPS. And it says you can go anytime. Um, and then, so the GPS worked very well. Give me a pretty good accurate distance. Give me a good heart rate, which is really good. I liked having all that in this watch, which is unfortunate that it, everything else was kind of weird. So now if I have this, you know, activity, Unfortunately, it just stays in this realm. I can't add it to like my Google Fit information. I can't add it to Endomondo. Um, apparently, there's a way in my account to share some of that information with like Nike or my Fitness Pal or whatever apps and exporting. Let's see. So I can add it into like my Endomondo account if I wanted to there. It could be kind of nice. Um, but I'm going to go back to activities and say, okay, here's my run. What you can do is choose to share. Let's see. Everything is just kind of slow. So it'll give me the basic information. And then I can share this to as basically as just basically a picture. 
It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't give me a link to that activity I can see. People can look at my information. Um, yeah, so just a little weird. A, a really good, 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 good hardware. Really good hardware. I really wish I could just go into Google Fit and say, use this, right? Use whatever sensor information comes off of this. Listen to this on the music. But unfortunately, I get to be I get to be hobbled by that app. This kind of navigation, which is never it's it's awkward. I mean, it, the best I can say is just awkward. Um, it, good headphones, but just awkward to pair. Personally, I mean, hmm, would I recommend this? I, I have a hard time saying I would recommend this device. Uh, just because I, I've, I'm so used to using something with Android Wear. And to be honest with you, if you had Android Wear, it would be a lot easier. Things work a lot simpler. Uh, I just found this a good hardware matched with kind of rough software. So that doesn't doesn't really work out so well for me. Anyways, that's my opinion. I hope uh, maybe if you try it out, tell me what you thought of it differently. Uh, let me know. Okay, thanks so much.